We actually went to Mexico for a, a Miss uh, Latina America pageant, which we were invited to perform and, and be a part of. I've never been to Mexico, so it was good to go down there and perform out there. We got to go to some cool places in Mexico. We visited this place called um, Excaret, and that was like a big, uh, there's a lot of history of Mexico, the old Mayan Indians and everything showing you the history, and they should, we, we learned a lot of cool things that they used to do, and we actually went snorkeling, which was a first for me. I've never been snorkeling at like a, a reef and everything. It was cool, it was, it was real cool. We got to snorkel, we got to go through the caves, and then we got to watch like this show, and we learned, we watched them play soccer, but back in the day, they used to play soccer, and the winning team would die, would have to be sacrificed or something like that. So uh, we were pretty sure we would always have lost. Sino made a deal that we're always going to lose that game. I, I told them. <laughs> when we got there, we, that was the first thing you know, is the girls were beautiful. Like We were like, wow, it's going to be a good competition. But one thing for me was those girls, you know, they could have been all about themselves and everything, and they could have been all divas and everything. But, they actually were excited to meet us. I was like, wow, that's, that's cool. They were, they were psyched to meet us. And we got there and they were like, oh, see, you know, we've been listening to his music. They wanted to take pictures. They were like, they were going crazy. There's a funny story in Mexico that happened with uh <laughs> with Orlando. <laughs> I guess they call it Montezuma's Revenge or something like that. You know, everybody thinks the water or whatever, but it was it was actually, I think, the chicken that he ate was uh, not fully cooked. And he got salmonella. And uh, so he's backstage, he has the crazy diarrhea. So we're getting ready and we can hear him like, oh, guys, I can't go on, I can't. He's in the bathroom while you hear it. <laughs> we're about to go on um, to perform, so they're calling us, let's go, let's go. And Oli's like, nah, man, I can't. Uh. And he's still in the toilet, and we're, we're like, Orlando, we gotta go, you gotta do it now. He's like, I can't, I can't. He got himself together, and uh, you know, he gave us a good performance. I don't know how clean his underwear were after he got off stage. You know, I don't know if it was, if it was so clean as when he came on <laughs> on the stage. <laughs> so, don't tell him I said that. The audience loved our performances. We had a better response than we thought we were gonna get. Well, actually, the places that we performed, there was a lot of tourists, and so there's a lot of people from a lot of different parts of the world, but there was a lot of people from Mexico there too, and, and, and it was, it was uh, like pandemonium every night, so it was great. All right, there was a funny story in Mexico. It was not a, a fun story, you know, it's probably funny to everybody else or everybody who hears it, but it wasn't fun, man. If you, if you wear my shoes, you know the pain, man. I wouldn't wish it on nobody. Seminilla is not a cool thing, and it was the worst experience ever. And then I had to go on stage on top of that. I'm gonna be straight up, I was clean, all right? I went on stage, and nothing was dripping. You know, thank God, nothing was, was went wrong then, but 
you know, before that, it was horrible. I, I thought I was going to have to, like, pinch extra hard. I thought I was going to trip. I thought I was going to leak on stuff. I, I, I was thinking a lot of things. And it was just, it was scary. But, you know, I got through it. You know, I came back home and I, and I got taken care of. But that experience was the worst experience ever. Excuse me, sexy mama. Put me in a room with 35 beautiful women. That's like a kid at a candy shop. You know what I mean? I'm going to eat. There were women there? I don't notice those things. The Mexican market is, is real important. I think it's, it's, you know, it's, they're Latinos. You know, I think Sino is, is gonna be very influential in, in the, the Latino market. Every Latino, no matter if you're Mexican, Dominican, Puerto Rican, anybody. I think all of us is really important to come together and just you know vibe to this music and, and relate to it and you know it's really gonna bring Latinos together so it's, it's real important. Queremos mandarle un saludo a Sol Estéreo Radio, el grupo de Sí No. As we're hitting you know every every country you know whether you're Latino or not you know Mexico is obviously Latino and, and, and it's a huge market so hopefully they like us and they enjoy what we're doing and, and they buy our album. We're looking forward to going back to Mexico because we just want to want to give the audience out there, you know, another great show. You know, we got a lot of fans out there. We get a lot of support out there. So, you know, we want to show them the love back. Well, it's a huge Latin market. So, I mean, for us to be a part of that and discover more than what we saw when we went there in the first place, I, mean, I, I definitely think we're looking forward to that. <laughs> Hopefully the, the pageants will call us out again and we can perform with the girls. Your Mexico is, is beautiful, obviously, that's why everybody goes out there to vacation. And the, uh, the resort that we were at was, was really nice. Para nosotros siempre ha sido un orgullo ser latino, eh, tener las raíces latinas, la cultura, el sabor, el ritmo, el calor que es ser latino. Aunque nos criamos en Estados Unidos, siempre quisimos seguir la cultura y seguir, y seguir lo, lo de ser hispano. Cuando decidimos hacer el grupo, quisimos hacer un grupo de cinco latinos criados en los Estados Unidos para que el mundo pueda ver lo que está pasando en los Estados Unidos con, con los latinoamericanos. We look forward to going back to Mexico because, like I said, it's a place we want to bring Sino to. It's definitely a place where if you're considering yourself a Latino artist, or if you want to break into the Latino market, you have to be in Mexico to consider yourself successful.